Well, hi, I'm David Martindale. They call me MacGyver. Today I want to show you how to make a Mont Blanc style pen, a European style pen, and it only takes about 10 minutes. A lot of people have taken a lot longer on some videos to make it. I don't know why it takes them so long, but I'm going to show you my techniques. Maybe I can help you speed up your pen making process. Maybe you can pick up some tips. Um, I'm going to run it in full length video rather than speeding it up just so you can actually see exactly how fast I'm doing stuff so that you get a real feel for how everything is turned. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. You hear a little noise in the background. That's my exhaust system for my sawdust. And I'm going to teach you how to make a Mont Blanc style pin. First of all, you put your uh, blanks on the mandrel. You make sure that as you spin it, it doesn't touch the uh, tool rest. This happens to be blood wood. Just a cheap Harbor Freight lathe. Get these for around 100 bucks when you uh, get them on sale. Starting with the gouge. I'm going to use two grits of sandpaper. I start with 180 grit.
Tango to 320. After I've used my 320, then I use 4 odd steel wool. Next thing I do is I protect my lathe because I'm going to put some super glue on this and I don't want it splattering all over my lathe. That's just a piece of cardboard and over the years that's built up splattered super glue. So I use a thin super glue and I actually go completely around the whole pin make sure that everything has super glue on it. After I've got it completely covered, I kick on the uh, lathe and I stand off to the side. And I let it splatter some of that heavy super glue off and then I put accelerator on it. That dries the glue really quick. And then I take an old worn out piece of uh, 320 after I let it go for about 10 or 15 seconds. Just knocking off any possible drips of super glue, trying to make it smooth. You can feel through the sandpaper when it gets smooth. Then I go back to my 4 odd steel wool. I tear off just a little piece of uh, paper towel. <coughs> then I put on the crystal coat. You can get this at... Uh, uh, Rockler Woodworking. <coughs> Fold my paper towel up and I put just that much on there. That's all it takes. Making sure I get it all over it. Then I turn on my lathe. And this is a friction-based product, so as it heats up because of the friction, it will set that crystal coat on that wood, giving it a high-polished finish. It's a combination of lacquers and waxes. And when you can feel it burning your fingers through the paper towel, you know it's done. And that's it. And the next thing I'll do is I'll press it together. So I take it off my lathe. And then I'm gonna press these together and I'll show you how to do that. Put this piece in here. Just sits in there like that. Push her down. And 
that holds it nice and straight so you get it in there. And then there's also the collar. I just set that on the flat spot. Push that in. You got it all put together there. So you put the tip in the hole, set that tail piece on. Push that down to it. Take your, your transmission, set it in there. I get it started. So this uh, little device here is one inch thick. I drill a hole in there that'll fit over my transmission. That gives me exactly the right distance to push that down on a Mont Blanc. Instead of just stopping at that line, you have to push it down that far. Then I put my cartridge in. And push the pin together. Bud was such a pretty wood. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to my channel. And I'll keep you informed with new projects that I've got coming up. You have a great day.